Hi, and welcome to the playlist labeled From Classical Waves to Matter Waves. So in this introduction video, I just want to give a, a brief outline of what we're going to do in this playlist and hopefully convince you that it's worthwhile to watch the rest of the playlist. So the whole point of this playlist is to, to, to get comfortable with the idea of quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics. And, and we won't learn that much about quantum mechanics. We'll really just learn what quantum mechanics is. And we won't, we won't do many problems with quantum mechanics. And we won't really understand too much about it, but we'll understand what it is. And we'll take some time to really, really get comfortable with this idea that, that, that matter can be looked at as a wave. And that's the main idea of quantum mechanics. So, so since we're talking about matter as a wave, first I'll, I'll talk about classical waves. Classical waves. Because it, it doesn't, it doesn't help much to say that, oh, we're just talking about matter as waves. If we don't, if we don't really understand a lot of the key properties that, that, and there are two S's in classical, classical waves. Now I have less sympathy for my previous professors who would make writing mistakes all the time. But anyway, to really understand the, the significance of treating matter as a wave, we need to, we need to understand waves just in a general sense. So I'll, so I'll start with basic, basic properties of waves. Basic properties of classical waves. We'll just do some little thought experiments on wiggling strings around. And I have properties is the is the word I'm trying to spell. Properties. Basic properties of waves. And then next we'll we'll talk about it in a little bit more of a mathematical way. And we'll talk about the wave equation in, in classical physics, the wave equation. And we'll and we'll look at the wave equation and some of its consequences, and and we'll we'll by this point we'll we'll know quite a bit about classical waves, and we'll have a good understanding of of, of basically what makes something a wave and what are the properties of a wave. And then and then once the once we once we're comfortable with this concept of what a wave is, I'll 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 transition over and talk about quantum mechanical waves or waves. Waves that represent matter, right? Matter waves. And again, that's the main idea of quantum mechanics, that, that, that we can treat matter as waves. Something we normally think of as a particle, we can treat it as a wave. So I'll talk about matter waves. I'll introduce this concept, and I'll, I'll first we'll, we'll just talk a little bit about it. We'll, we'll have an intro video, and then, and then we'll talk about what the wave equation is and how it's different for for a matter wave. And this is this is the Schrodinger equation. So we'll introduce the Schrodinger equation, which again is just the wave equation that that governs matter waves. Schrodinger equation. And I'll abbreviate the equation. EQN equation. Then once we've talked about the Schrodinger equation a little bit, we'll do we'll do one example problem. Example problem, and we'll we'll just see that that the same the same properties that come from treating a classical wave the way we do, if we treat matter in that wave, that we end up with some of the same properties, and that and that that leads to some interesting consequences. And there will be some some math in these videos in this playlist, but but the point will not be to do a bunch of fancy math and, and, and show crazy things and and show you that you know I'm good at math. The, the point will be all along the way to to understand the concepts as they come and and just see the big picture of 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 the 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 main thing that comes from thinking about matter or particles, things we normally think of particles as waves and that's and that's really all quantum mechanics is but to follow every bit of of these of these videos it'll be good to to know calculus to have some experience with differential equations and and 
and things things of that nature but but you should be able to watch these videos and and understand the main ideas at least if if I've done a good job you should be able to understand the main ideas without following all of the pieces of the math and and I'll explain I'll explain the math as we go but but it'll only be brief so so hopefully that whether, whether you have a strong math background or not, you'll be able to go through these videos and have a, and feel good about your understanding of, of quantum mechanics and, and the, the most basic idea of quantum mechanics, which, which is really essential if you ever want to actually study it in depth. You, you need to, to, to really force, to really, really understand these points that are in, in this video. And I think that many times when when quantum mechanics is taught, this is this is mentioned, but then people just dive right into the math, and they don't really make sure that all the students understand how how this how these two things relate: classical waves and and matter waves. And that's all we're doing is saying that matter also acts like a wave. And I think that's one of the several reasons why quantum mechanics has a has a reputation for being a a difficult subject. So hopefully. Watching this, watching this playlist will will help you if you're taking a quantum mechanics course, just to get a, an intuitive understanding of of what's happening. So, so with that, I'll I'll end this video and have fun with the rest of the playlist.